What's up everyone, it's Tim from Tim Plays Game, back with a normal lost phone, playing the Nintendo Switch version. Uh, wow, we got a lot of stuff cut to, to get through. Uh, we uh, just got internet access back to the phone, so now we get to go through the email. Let's see. Music con music school from of Melrin. Concert reminder, dear students, is a friendly reminder for the upcoming concert that will take place on the 28th of June. This dates back all the way to June 22nd. At the Stonewall Auditorium at 7 p.m., students are requested to arrive to the auditorium three hours early. This is to say, this is to say, at 4 p.m. for the sound test and dressing up. Please go through the staff gate that you will find at the back of the building on Freedom Road. Inform the staff that you are a student from the Melrin Municipal School of Music. Best regards, Professor Heinrich Kaplan. Okay, BU Forum. Hello, Sam Thing. Welcome to BU. We are sending this email because you have signed up for, to our discussion forums. You make us very happy by being an active member. Best wishes, you, your friends at the BU forums. You have received this <coughs> email to confirm the email address you use for your newly opened account. If this email was sent to you by mistake or you did not open an account in the BU forum, please ignore this message. Dear, okay, let's see. Uh, East Melrose School. Dear students, don't forget that on Monday we will be taking our class photos like every year. Please do your best to attend school on this day and bring your best smile along as well as decent, decent clothes. Remember that hats, bonnets, baseball caps, tricorn hats, berets, tribal masks, sombreros, helms, viking helmets, bowler hats, fez, top hats, caps, sunglasses, purses, and other accessories are not strictly necessary and <laughs> will not be allowed. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Okay, Melissa was Sam's girlfriend. Let's see. Well, we're so pretty. Okay, added to gallery. I got... Oh, there's photos of this photo. I gotta look at those. I, I completely forgot about those. Oh, uh, we gotta look at the photos. Let's see. Melissa. Okay, more photos. Thanks. And then Alice. Okay, this was back on January 5th. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Hey Sam, I'm really sorry my phone broke during the holidays and I lost your number. A friend just let me borrow my, an old phone. I've sent a message to the board game club to get your email address back to fi back to finally write you. I hope you don't you didn't worry too much and that you still think of me as a friend, Alice. Alice, you're alive. Did you keep okay, did you keep the same number? Can we write to each other and send texts? Okay. So what happened in previous videos, uh, basically Sam and Alice were, te were texting, uh, Sam tried to text Alice, uh, I think in, in like, uh, back in, on, around Christmas and on 2015, and Alice didn't reply, so that's probably what happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I kept the same number, the bad news is the keyboard on the phone is, on the phone I'm borrowing is completely broken, so I can't send texts. So, since I'm glued to my PC all the time, I'd rather re I'd rather write emails, uh, the good news is calling is fine, and I still have an unlimited plan. Can't call me so I get your number back. Call me so I get your number. Okay. Alice, too urgent. Alice, I tried to call you thirty times, and you won't answer. I gotta talk to you about something serious. It's about Melissa. Gah, sorry, my phone wasn't on silent. Meet me in the park in thirty minutes. This is on January six. This is weird. Okay. Uh, Jan uh, December 31st, Sam and Melissa broke up. January 6th, that whole thing happened. And January 7th, Sam uh, texted Melissa trying to say, is there anything I can do to help? And then Melissa just basically said, stay away from me. Okay, this is on January 7th. Hey, Alice, you know, it really helped talking to you yesterday. I'll always be there for you, even if even if I must admit I was surprised by your big confession. You know, you can always count on me. Have you talked to Melissa again? What did he confess? Ah, uh, you're really awesome, Alice. I've tried I tried talking to Melissa, but she doesn't want to even hear about me again. I feel so bad. Call me. I think I still I think I still need, still need to talk. Okay. Something happened. I think. I think Sam had a crush on Alice and he just didn't know it because he was dating Melissa. 
And he probably confessed his feelings to Alice. Okay. From Fior Vitolo. My name is Fior Vitolo, and I work for Loud Note. My job is to find talented musicians willing to collaborate to compose original soundtracks for movie productions. And I am the, and the, at the moment, I am looking for music for the next animated feature by the Selfless Cookies Studios. I discovered your music on your website today, and I'm really impressed. I'd love to bring your name up with the director. Would you agree to compose a 100-second long demo for a relatively sad scene? We were thinking of something similar to your song Blue from Vitolo. Oh, Fiora Tolo. <laughs> I'm truly honored by your offer. Working for the Selfless Cookie Studios would be a dream come true. Here's a demo as requested. I composed it really quickly and excitedly. I hope it meets your expectations. Please tell me if you had something else in mind. I can rework it quickly if you need me to. Okay. Let's see. Fiora Vitolo. He's talking to Fiora Vitolo a lot. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I realize we haven't talked in a really long time. while. I feel guilty. <coughs> ah, sorry. Ah, cold. Ah. How are you doing? What's going on? I'm going, I'm going all right. On my end, I'm a bit sad. I'm not going to music school and seeing you anymore, but I'm still playing the harp and composing. This was on January 13th. I'm ready because I wanted your opinion about something. I have someone from Loud Note called Fior Vitolo who contacted me to offer me the opportunity to make music for them. I'm super excited. I think it's crazy awesome that someone wanted to pay me for my music. I even find it too crazy, and I've been wondering if it's some kind of online scam. That kind of sounds like it. Like people pretending to be loud note or something. They've asked for my address. Maybe it's to rob my home. Hugs, Sam. Hello, Sam. I was super glad to hear you. Hear from you. You're right. We haven't seen each other in a while. Like since the June concert, actually. It's awesome about the loud note thing. I'm happy for you. It's a really great opportunity. And to reassure you, I just asked a friend who works at Loud Note. He knows Fior Vitolo, and it's not a scam. They really want to pay you for your music. Ha, yeah get paid on my end on my end all is well i've joined the oropolis university in music musicology i'm sure that's a thing i just never heard of it before <clears throat> it's really great i pay for school by giving harp lessons there is the harp that big of a thing anymore i mean seriously it's pro I'd, I'd like to think i mean they don't make i guess they make harps i just don't see them very often I, I pay for school by playing harp lessons. They're more demanding than I thought. <laughs> it's cool. It pays pretty well. Many kisses and keep up the good work. I'll let you. I'll let you know if I ever. If I'm ever in Melrin. Okay. Lovebirds. Okay, that was the app on his phone. Is Lovebirds. Dear Sam, thing. Greetings and welcome to Lovebirds. Be ready for new adventures. Lots of love. Your Lovebirds team. Okay, that was on nine, uh, January seventeenth, nine thirty three. Whoa. Dear Sam Thing Else. Greetings and welcome to Lovebirds. Be ready for new adventures. Lots of love your love. He had two accounts on Lovebirds? What the heck is with this guy? Sam Thing and Sam Thing Else. Oh my god. Alright. Sam Thing. New messages. Let's see. Hey Sam Thing. You received new messages on Lovebirds from Gina here while you were offline. You received new messages from Susie Total, 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 Susie Total. Total. Alright. Fior Vitolo, here we go. 
We've listened carefully to the demo you sent us. We wish to make you an offer and have you as a composer for projects in the near future. We're just sorting out the administration at the moment, and we need your address to send you a contract. Please don't hesitate to get back to us if you have any questions. We hope to hear from you and continue our collaboration. We would be delighted to count you among our composers for our animated movies and video clips. You're sincerely, Fior Vitolo. Dear Mr. Vitolo, thank you, thank you so much. My address, blank. Dear Sam, okay. Oh wait, there. Okay, there's the uh, the zip code for Melrin again, two nine zero six four. But we already know that. Dear Sam, we have finished the required paperwork and sent you a contract at the address you provided. Please read it carefully, and if you agree, send it back to us, filled in with any with any missing information, your bank account details and signature. Please don't forget to provide your account info so that we can send you send you your first transfer. If there are any if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Best regards, Vier Vitolo. Okay, so so Vitolo, dear Mr. Vitolo, Miss Vitolo, sorry. Thank you very much for your response. It's great to hear. I confirm that I received your letter, have filled out the contract, and sent it back to you. Best regards. Hello, Sam. Contract received. The first transfer will be sent in 30 days. Incidentally. We would also be interested in other compositions. I've sent a flash drive to your address with film sequences in need of sound. Could you make suggestions for those? If you are Vitolo, dear Mr. Vitolo, I've received your, fa your flash drive. I'm getting to work on it right now. That was on the 21st of January, 10 days before his birthday. Here are my suggestions for the sequences you sent. Uh, I've numbered them in the same order as the sequences you sent me. Dear Sam, it's perfect. We'll send the second transfer in 30 days. Okay, so he had money. Ah, from Alice. This is on January 26th. Oh, wow, five days before this. Alice, is, is, Alice, what's what's happening? He he. can you guess? I'll give you 24 hours to figure it out. I'll tell you everything at the movies tomorrow. Ooh, okay. Hey, Alice, is there any chance we can meet up earlier than planned at the movie theater later? Like 30 minutes. Okay, so what the heck? He's going with on a date with Alice to the movies on the 27th. Four days before this happened. Like 30 minutes later, my cousin Tio wants to talk to me on the phone about something super important, according to him, but neither of us has enough credit left for calling. Any chance I could use your phone and, and your awesome unlimited plan? No problem, so long as you tell me what he told you. Next, I love gossip. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is Melrin's board game club. So this was a legitimate board game club. And it's just the same message over and over again. Yep. Okay. So he wasn't actually kicked out of the board game club, I guess. He just stopped going. Lovebird, something else. So this is his second Lovebird account. You have new messages on Lovebirds from Roland89 while you were offline. From Phil Free. Phil Free. What the heck? You from, that's a that's a guy's name, Phil. Okay. To Alice, still sick. Hey Alice, you feeling better today? Have you seen a doctor? So so prognosis. Gastroenteritis. Ouch, hang in there. Well, at least it's just gastroenteritis. And I cannot pronounce words today. Gastroenteritis. Enter I know I'm not pronouncing that right, I apologize. Uh, that means you should be fine by next week. Still sick. Yeah, true. Actually, a good thing it happened now, not during my flight. I love how you always see the silver lining, and I really hope for uh, I really hope for the other passengers' sake that you'll be healthy at the time of your flight. Wow! Happy birthday, happy birthday, Sam. So now, so how's it being 18? My, by the way, really sorry I can't come come tonight. I'm too beat. Yesterday I was still emptying through every hole. Goddamn gastroenteritis. I really wanted to see you see you before my flight. We'll exchange emails every day. Ha, charming. And don't worry about tonight, I get it. The party just started, and, I, and as I feared, it's pretty crummy. My family's nice for setting this all up, but I'm a little tired, and how they keep telling me there is 
there it is, you're a man and a real one now, it's like a broken record. They're all saying the same thing on a loop, I think. <laughs> Some are drunk already. Then I'm not missing much. Also, since we won't be seeing each other tonight, I wanted to tell you something important, so if I can't tell you face to face, I'll tell you by email. I've given it a lot of thought the last few days while I was sick, and I was thinking you attach too much importance to dates and signs of fate. I think you make too many stupid to your words choices based on what you think the calendar is telling you to. You know you're 18 now, and I think you can't make all important choices based on what you think a superior entity has chosen for you. Quit trying to read the date and the way you have read tea leaves. Alright, that was a bit raw, especially for telling you for telling you happy birthday but I hope my advice will help you address your adult life more serious more serenely okay so this one this next one hasn't been sent yet thank you for the advice but you know I don't attach that much importance to dates I've got to go folks are calling me on out on calling me out on keeping a phone glued to my face instead of enjoying the evening plus my dad is getting ready to give me a big surprise present I'll bet it's Okay, I guess we can... Can we finish this, or...? I, I think I just sent that. Yeah, I just sent that. Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so that's sent. So that was the drafts. See what the trash can is. is on my exclusive. You have been selected to receive one of our exclusive loans. Don't care. Donation. Read carefully. Urgent. My name is Mrs. Nicholas Barbosa. Please help them send an email to your contacts. Oh, we got a new email. This is cool. Okay, something happened. Oh, Alice responded. Okay. Uh, what are you betting it is? And yes, you attach too much importance to dates. I'm sure half of your passwords are just the dates that matter to you. Well, I hope you got a cool present anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's right. His locker password was uh, his uh, girlfriend's birthday. Okay. Oh, the gallery. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to look at the gallery yet. Okay. This was on 12-13. This is board game club, so that's the legitimate thing. And January 18th, this was the museum trip. Okay, and then this... This was taken on his birthday, okay, yeah, that's so... Uh, Definitely his 18th birthday. There's his dad right there. Oh. Whoa, that is a sexy bike. <laughs> that is a great 18th birthday present. There's a picture of Melissa. Okay, and there he is playing a harp. And that's his dad's birthday. His dad's 54. Okay. And this is the place that... This is the picture that Alice sent him. Looks like a hospital or something. Alright. Okay, wow. So, we have that, uh... And, this, and then there's this thing. He's got two... Accounts for a... <laughs> uh, I guess a dating app. So that's really creepy. But uh, we'll look into that next time, guys. So that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. I wanna thank everyone so much for watching. Be sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. And stay tuned for uh, more videos from a normal lost phone. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night.